last class uh, we talked about bar chart and pie chart. Uh, we will talk about um, stack bar chart and histogram in this video. Stack bar chart is a variation of standard bar chart. Uh, we saw that in a last uh, video that uh, we can use bar chart for comparing the individual data. Uh, in the last class we saw the similar uh, chart where comparing uh, grade 9, 10, 11, 12 students, boys and girls, uh, the absentee rate for boys is more compared to girls and also we saw that uh, in the grade 9 it is uh, less compared to grade 12. Same chart can be uh, represented as the uh, stack bar chart that is uh, the both values will be stacked. Um, the only drawback here is uh, it is not clearly showing how much difference is from uh, boys and girls. For example, here you can see that there is a difference uh, boys uh, absentee rate is on average high on all the grades compared to girls. But uh, in this chart it is not clear but this is also another way of representing bar charts called stack bar chart. So, there is a variation of stack bar chart that is what we saw in last slide this is the stack bar chart the variation is uh, converting it to a 100 percentage. So, here um, the value will be uh, represented for the percentage instead of the absolute value say 22 percent of uh, boys uh, absentees average rate for grade 9 here that will be uh, represented as a percentage compared to total value. So, we know that uh, that is a sta stack bar chart uh, adjusted for the percentage. So, this is a simple stack bar chart. Let us move on to the other type of chart called histogram. Uh, in histogram, uh, we want to show the distribution of numerical values, uh, the input values split into several bins and plotted. The distribution of numerical values, what we mean by uh, distribution of numerical values is uh, for example, uh, you have a uh, class of 60 students, um, uh, your table uh, of class of 60 students, uh, student ID uh, from 1, 2 to 60 students and you have the marks, marks in subject A. Consider that you have a marks in subject A and say 90, 75. 42 something like that. So, you have these marks of class of 60 students uh, in a subject A, you want to uh, represent uh, this in a bar chart. What happens in bar chart? It can represent only the average value or um, all the students uh, marks can be shown in the bar chart, but it will be too clumsy because there are 60 students. Instead, you can show the distribution of marks in the among this class students histogram can be used. What we have to do? We have to split this course into several bins. For example, uh, consider the uh, mark is for 100. Okay? If the exam is for 100 marks, you can make a several bin of say I want to know how many students got uh, 0 to 10 marks, how many students got 10 to 20, how many students got so something like that. So, you will have a 90 to 100. So, basically what you have to do, you have to calculate how many students got mark uh, from 0 to 10, say 7 students, say the 8 students, again uh, there are 10 students, here 10 students. So, some, some numbers like that. So, it will show, if you show this data in a plot, it will show that how your marks are distributed in your class. The student's performance in the class on a subject A is distributed in several range. So, marks of 60 students in course CA can be shown as a histogram. Uh, so, let us see these bins. This is the histogram. Okay. Here, um, let me delete this uh, bin value. Um, Okay, so, if you look at this, um, uh, the, there are uh, like a 3 students who got marks from 38 to 38. Um, so, there are no students below 28 and there are no students above 98. So, there are only 2 students who got above 88. 
and uh, there are 5 students who got 38 to uh, 48. So, most of the students that is 28, 38, um, 41 students in your class are around from 48 to 78 or from 50 to 80 or, or you can see the majority of students like, like most 30 students off of your class uh, is from 40, 50 to 70. So, this kind of distribution will tell you that uh, how the students performance in your class is distributed uh, across the score. So, histogram can be used to identify the distribution of marks uh, in the class or um, uh, comparing this distribution among two courses something like that. So, so you can make histogram by simple uh, using Excel or uh, Google uh, Sheets or you can use some uh, scripts to create histogram. So, we saw um, histogram now, uh, list down the common mistakes uh, people do in using histograms. Please pause this video, list down the common mistakes after listing it down, resume the video to continue. So, in last uh, slide we saw 7 beans, why there are 7 beans? Did you ask like why there are 7 beans and why the marks are distributed across 28 to 38 and 88 to 98? Why can't we have only 5 bins? Uh, why we, we can't have only 3 bins, say less than 40, 40 to 80, 80 to 100? Why we have 7 bins? So, if you have several bin sizes, say instead of 7, if I want to use 10 bins, or if for 10, I want to use 5 or 3 bins, the conclusion might uh, have a difference, right? Suppose uh, you might say that lot of students scored less than 40. A uh, lot of students who are in the range of uh, 50 to 70 now, now might have moved to uh, less than 60 and uh, more than 70 to 80, something like that. So, your conclusion inference might vary based on the uh, bin size also. So, you have to be careful in using these bin sizes and why you pick this kind of bins should be supported and argued correctly. And, uh, Histogram can uh, can compare two groups. For example, uh, marks in the math versus science. Uh, that's good. And uh, the important point is uh, all the bin size should be equal. Uh, you should not have a bin. Uh, for example, uh, I was telling uh, you cannot have a bin one bin of um, less than 40 marks, 40 to 80 and 8200, the bin size is not equal, you know, so this is 40, 40, this is 20. So, this is not correct, okay, make sure you have all the bins uh, should be equal. Also, when you compare um, marks A to marks B, make sure the comparing uh, the bin size is same. Also, why we are picking several bin sizes, uh, try, uh, try several bins uh, and uh, compute uh, the histogram and see which one makes sense and you should have stronger argument why you pick that uh, bin number equal to 7 or 8. In Excel, you can uh, change uh, the bin size or number of bins to be used in the histogram uh, easily. Uh, I pick the bin size of 28 uh, to 38. Uh, instead, you can say no, I want a bin from 20 to 30, 30 to 40, that is all possible. So, make sure you have a uh, bin size and uh, number of bins selected properly when you use the histogram. So, in this video, uh, we saw stat bar chart and the histogram and uh, we will see uh, some more charts in the next video. Thank you.